Hi guys, MC Stu here, Tweak Freak Tech. Um, back with a quick follow-up video. Um, I made a video a few weeks ago on uh, Dell Optiplex 990, swapping out the, uh, the case uh, for a gaming case uh, for a Fortnite build I did for my wife. I'll put a link uh, in the description there if you're interested in that. Uh, but I got a few uh, questions in the comments about how um, I was able to wire the uh, power uh, button into the uh, the Dell motherboard. So uh, most of your cases are going to have kind of a standardized um, connectors for the front panels, uh, at least for you know the reset button, power button, and they're just those little square black um, you know two wires going in um, connectors uh, for that. Um, I only the only thing I messed with was just the power button. all I really cared about on that build, and that's the main thing, just to get it working so you can turn it off and on. Um, so anyways, I just wanted to go into a little bit more detail on how I went about doing that. Um, I did have someone in the comments on that last video um, ha had a real good idea. So initially, um, and, and just to back up, the stock Dell motherboard power connector on the motherboard is proprietary. So... When you buy a new case, it's going to have connectors uh, for that front panel that um, don't have a matching plug on the motherboard. Um, so you have two ways of doing it. Um, the way that the person had suggested in the comments before uh, that he had did is he cut the housing off of the stock plug and then plugged the new case's power switch connector onto the pins. And the reason he did this, I, I tried plugging the, the new cases connector into the proprietary Dell plug that's on the motherboard, and it fit, but it's, it's a little too wide. The uh, Dell plug, the housing around it is too narrow. So you can kind of push it in there, but because those pins are you know at the end of it, there's not a lot of flex there, and I wasn't able to seat it all the way. Um, and so I decided... Um, against pushing it in there, had I thought that through, I, I may have done what, what he did. Um, cutting that housing away um, probably would, would solve that and make it fairly straightforward if you're comfortable with cutting on that. You know, if you're switching cases over, you're going to have that motherboard out. So if you can carefully kind of clip that uh, housing that's around the plug um, off, then you'll just have the, you know, the six pins or five pins, whatever it is, sticking up. Um, and you could slide those, uh, that stock um, or that new cases connector right onto it. Um, I went a different route, and I went ahead and cut off the um, cable uh, from the Dell case, and uh, the end of that cable has the proprietary plug that fits into the plug on the motherboard. Um, so I cut that off, and I stripped back the, um, the jacketing, um, exposing the, I think there's five wires in there, um, and so I got the, uh, the f five wires exposed, and what I was looking for is uh, for the on button, which is the yellow and black. Uh, black is negative, yellow is positive. And um, in this picture I'm showing here, I just I stuck it in the end of the, uh, the new cases connector just to test it. Uh, once I was confirmed that that worked, I clipped that uh, connector off, and I wired those together, shrink-wrapped it so it was nice and clean. Basically, um, you know, taking the the new case and uh, retrofitting it with the uh, the Dell's front panel power plug, um, plugging that in, and that worked fine. Um, I didn't mess with any of the other ones. I believe most of the other um, cables on there are for um, the. Uh, there's not really a, a reset on the uh, the Dell Optiplex. It's uh, you can just press that button again to turn it off. Um, therefore, the hard drive light, the CPU light. And then the actual power button itself uh, lights up. Um, so uh, I, I didn't do any of that. I just made it when, when I was doing my wife's build. Uh, the case I got her had a bunch of fans and stuff on the front that lit up real bright the whole face of it. So I, I really didn't worry about that. Um, so I believe the blue wire um, can be tied into the, the mixer. I think it shares like the... Uh, for the, at least for the power button light, I think it shares the negative uh, for the actual switch and then the blue. But don't quote me on that. I'm not sure. I haven't tried it. So uh, in any case, um, that, that's how I went about doing that. Uh, if you have any questions, I, I try to be as detailed as possible. I uh, When I did the uh, the case swap out, I, um, I, I really wasn't thinking through um, detailing this part of it. And I should have because this is the part that I really had to spend the most time on. 
um, you know, figuring out there. So I was cleaning out my son's uh, computer today, and that's the one I'm, I'm using in the video here so we can see how this all looks stock. Um, and then the picture uh, there is from that I flashed up. I'll put it back up on the screen now. Uh, that's from uh, when I was initially putting together the wife's build and testing that uh, that was going to work there. So again, just cut uh, the uh, your yellow and black from your Dell connector cable and uh, cut off your new case connector um, and then just wire those uh, together and uh, you will have a functioning um, on button, uh, which is important, obviously. <laughs> uh, if you have any questions, uh, go ahead and put them in the comments, like, subscribe. Appreciate it. Hope this was helpful.